Welcome back to the Making the Madness YouTube channel. Sean back again for another video. This one is discussing the Georgia Bulldogs. We I don't know if we've talked at all about the Georgia Bulldogs on this channel because they just haven't been good in recent years. They've been pretty bad. Anthony Edwards, Nick Claxton, they've had the talent. They just haven't won. They, I mean, their biggest highlight over the past three or four years was probably Anthony Edwards hitting a game winner over Chaminade uh, in the Maui Invitational three years ago. It just hasn't been a bright past few years. I mean, you look at last year, they won six games. They lost their entire roster to the transfer portal the previous year. But this year, if you're a Bulldogs fan, obviously you're excited for football season. You guys are coming in off a football national championship over Alabama. That was awesome. But you should feel some optimism if you're a Bulldogs fan. You should feel a little bit of optimism about what Mike White, who took Georgia or took Florida rather to several NCAA tournament wins, took them to the round of 32, took them to the Sweet 16. He won 19 games in each of his seasons in Gainesville. And look, he didn't win a national title. He wasn't able to live up to that expectation like Billy Donovan did, but he was able to bring a very good program to a lot of tournament games. And that's all you can really ask for because once you're in the tournament. Who knows what can happen? Just look at what St. Peter's did last year. But Georgia hasn't been there very often. And I think they could get there. I'm not saying they'll be there this year, but this team is really talented. We look at Terry Roberts coming in from Bradley. That's who the video's on. 14 a game, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. Very solid player. He was a first-team all-conference selection in the Missouri Valley Conference. And I, I thought he was a high major talent coming out of the Juco level. I really liked what he brought for Florida Southwestern. His teammate, Cario Oquendo, is now his teammate again at Georgia. Cario Oquendo is one of the most talented players in the SEC. He entered the portal, he withdrew. Mike White was able to keep him. Average 15 a game, shot 45% from the field. An elite athlete, six foot four, 210. He just doesn't shoot the ball well yet, 27% from outside, but he shot it at 40% during his one year of Juco basketball. So if you could meet in the middle there and shoot 34% and shoot 46, 47% from the field and 75% from the foul line, Oquendo's an NBA draft pick if that happens. If he can shoot the ball a little more consistently, he is an NBA player and maybe one of the best players in the SEC. He might be the best scorer in the SEC on a points per game basis next season. We'll see what happens. But you have those two and then, oh yeah, Justin Hill, who was Longwood's best player. They ran through the Big South. They destroyed Winthrop in the Big South tournament. He was their best player. 14 a game, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, very similar numbers to Terry Roberts. Uh, he's a 34% shooter from outside, but a very steady point guard who will bring another point guard option to that locker room. You have Terry Roberts and you have Justin Hill, who can both run the point guard if you need him to. You look at the rest of the roster. You have Braylon Bridges, who's coming back for the extra year of eligibility. He averaged double-figure points. He's a, he's a smooth lefty. He can score inside. He's strong. He's athletic. I like what he brings to the table. He can block a shot. I like his game, and he was very impressive last year. He, perform, he outperformed the expectations I thought he would uh, for Georgia last year, and I think that'll continue on a better team. Run some good pick-and-roll stuff between him and Terry Roberts or Justin Hill. I think he'll only get better because of the point guard play that they have. But Aaron Cook was very good at the point guard spot last year for Georgia. That was one of the few bright spots on the team. But two guys I'm curious to see what happens. P.J. Horn who got hurt before last year even started a Georgia native. Six foot six. Can shoot the basketball. He's a solid defender but you like him for his stretch four ability. He came over from Virginia Tech a few years ago. He was on that Virginia Tech team with Kerry Blackshear and Nikhil Alexander Walker that almost beat Duke in the NCAA tournament, but Ahmed Hill's shot just missed. Uh, but, yeah, he was on that team. He played a decent role on that team. And I think he'll be a very solid player this year for the Bulldogs because of his shooting ability and just adds another veteran presence to the locker room. And Jalen Ingram, who had transferred in from Florida Atlantic, only played nine games last year, got hurt. He struggled a lot with injuries throughout his career. But he's always been a productive player when he's on the court. He will come back uh, if he's granted a red shirt, uh, red shirt waiver for last year because he only appeared in nine games. So if he gets that, he'll be back and he'll have another very solid season for Georgia, adding another option there. So I'm liking what this Bulldogs roster looks like already. Maybe they could add a little bit more. I mean, Jabri Abdurrahim, the son of Sharif Abdurrahim, who knows what he can do this year. He's a former top 100 recruit. He's six foot eight and can shoot the basketball. But he didn't shoot the basketball consistently. He's able to shoot it. That's kind of the deal with everybody on this team, though. They don't have anybody that's going to go shoot 40% 
that you know will shoot 40% from outside. They don't have a Noah Bauman who decided to transfer to Grant Canyon. They don't have that guy this year. They have more talent, no question. But they don't have an elite shooter, and that's what I want to see from this team. Who's going to step up and shoot the basketball well? Because you have the 34% guy with Roberts, a 34% guy with Hill, a 27% guy with Aquendo, uh, 32 with Abdurrahim. You don't have a 40% guy. And you can go and add a guy, potentially. Uh, there's options out there that can shoot the basketball well. But will you be able to add one of those guys, maybe a couple of those guys? That, that's the one ingredient I think they're missing. I think they'll be able to defend just fine. I think they added enough defenders to be way better on that end of the floor. They were outside the top 300 in Ken Palm's defensive efficiency this year. That has to get better. But Mike White's always had good defensive teams, so I expect that to be a little bit improved because of how good of a coach he is. I, I think if they're one or two shooters away from me being like, okay, if things break right, this team could be on the bubble. They could be a tournament team. I'm not going to say that yet, but could they be this year's Iowa State? And again, I'm not saying they'll get to the Sweet 16, but with the way they've already improved this roster, I, I don't think it's inconceivable that Mike White could get this team to an NCAA tournament year one. In fact, I think it's very possible if they had a little bit more, but I love the additions they made. I love getting Oquendo back. I think this team is headed in the right direction, and even if they don't make the tournament this year, which, again, we're a ways away from the 2023 NCAA tournament, uh, but we're right now, based on what Mike White has done in his first offseason, I think this team will be in the tournament for years to come, and that's because Mike White's a very good basketball coach, and I think they'll be competitive in the SEC. They won't be near the bottom forever. That'll be... I think Vanderbilt's down there again. I think Missouri will be a little bit improved, probably. I like what Dennis Yates has brought in. But the SEC as a whole might be pretty solid overall. I think Vanderbilt's probably the worst team there at the moment. But that'll do it for this video, talking about the Georgia Bulldogs. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a good one.